Welcome, Flyers fans. You're listening to Chris Mayer, Flyers Fan Mania 93 on YouTube. All right. Well, in uh, Claude Drew's 1,000th game as a Flyer and uh, probably his, his last game as a Flyer, as reports are now coming out that um, Drew... Won't be traveling with the team tomorrow to Ottawa. Um, I also can confirm that um, a, a deal with Giroux, uh, it's, it's going to be the Florida Panthers. Don't know um, the details, but it will be with Florida. Um, also tweeted out by Nancy Knuckles and San Filippo. Um, so there's that. You know, I, I'm just going to start this off. Before I get into the game, I want to start this off with a, with a uh, personal thing here. Um in the all the years I have watched the Flyers and covered the Flyers, this tomorrow's game will most likely be the first game that I have ever watched as a Flyers fan, reporter, everything, that either doesn't have Jake Voracek or Claude Giroux in it. And it's so weird to think about it because, like, when everybody, like, everybody has, like, their, you know, handful of players that they watch when they grew up. Some people, it was Bobby Clark, you know, Lindros, Brian Propp, Hextall, Pelly Lindbergh, you know, Richards and Carter, Gagne, Keith Primo. There's so many more, right? For me, Drew and Voracek. That's it. Obviously, Couturier, Brayden Chen, Wayne Simmons, all these different players. Um, you know, the only one that's, that's now, uh, still here since 2012 is Sean Couturier and that was back when Couture was really young. So you look at it now and it's like, you know, I, I, am not, I'm not going to be, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I bawled my eyes out watching that ceremony for Giroux, um, and everything, you know, it, it's again, I, I mean, I, if I'm being honest, I want to cry right now, you know, it's. It's a lot because he's a guy that you're not going to realize is gone until he's gone. And tomorrow night's game is going to be really weird. Not hearing Drew's name, not seeing him out there, not seeing him out there for the power play. Like, just everything. So, the ceremony was great. The Flyers did a fantastic job with that. Um, that was probably one of the best Flyers games since 2019-20. Like, I'm not even I'm not even kidding. Like... Last season was god awful. The majority of this year has just been terrible. Um, look again, like I'm not, I, I'm not gonna sit here and talk about like what different guys the Flyers can get. This is the the game review video. So let's uh, let's get into the game because the game was very entertaining. It was a really really good hockey game. Um, lines and, and, and such. You have Farabee with Broussard and, or excuse me, uh, Van Riemsdyk with Broussard and Atkinson. Um, Frost, Giroux, Konechny, Limblom, Hayes, Farabee. Wilman, Brown, and McEwen. Defense, Pro, Robin, York, Sanheim, Risto, Yano, and Braun. And Carter Hart was in net in this one. So, this game started out. Both teams traded their chances. Thought it was a really good first period. Very entertaining first period. Um, Hart had a really nice save early on Forsberg. Flyers had a really good shift by the Giroux line. Four or five great chances in close. Um, McEwen with the fight of the year. Right there. Uh, fantastic. He gets him with a couple punches, goes, thinks the fight's over, starts celebrating, and then just starts hammering again. Um, and then Sandheim scores right after. So Flyers have all the momentum in the world. Zach McEwen just basically blew the roof off in that building, and then the goal after it, it was just unbelievable. My my, my voice was dead by probably the, the, I don't know, 10 minute mark of the first period. And I started to sound like Piglet uh, from uh, Winnie the Pooh. Um, Flyers would get a power play on a boarding, really good power play. Um, lots of good chance, lots of good passing, couple chances, then another power play. Then it was a four on four. Um, game settled down a bit. Good handful of chances for the Flyers. Crossbar. Flyers had like three or four posts in the, in the first period. Um, I believe Konechny hit one in Obersard. Um, I think Hayes got a piece of the post on one shot. Like there was a lot of different things like that. Um, and the second period started like any other second period has pretty much this year. Early goal, um, Janot 
snipe right from the right from the uh the, the slot there um turnover right inside the line and it's just one of them plays where it's like it's the same things over and over that's killed them and early goal in the second and the game's tied flyers get the goal right back though power play on an interference call york scores really nice play um you know it, it kind of just trickled right over to him he was in the perfect spot and um Konechny had the pass that deflected off a couple skates went right to york slam dunk 2-1 uh, Wilman had a really nice drive to the net, almost scored there, and the Flyers would score the, again. JVR scores on a scramble in front, so the Flyers have a 3 1 lead. Um, and uh, at this point, it kind of felt like the Flyers didn't really have as many chances as they did before. Second period definitely wasn't their best period, it was more natural. Um, Phil Myers, of course, would score his first of the season to make it 3 2, and you saw how excited he was for that jumping and throwing his fist in the air. Um, and, you know, I, again, of course, why wouldn't he score his first goal of the season uh, against the Flyers? It could be one Hart might want to have back. Looks like it deflected as well um, off McEwen. But, again, 3-2. And then the Flyers uh, will go on the power play. And really not the best power play compared to the other ones. Uh, they just needed quicker shots. Then Nash will get a power play. Pretty good kill. Nothing crazy. Um, yeah, no when Braun had a sequence where I had absolutely no idea what they were doing. Um, it, it Like, Braun threw it behind. That and then there was a turnover. Yandel just chucked it into the corner again. Like it was just the most confusing sequence. It, it, like it was so confusing. They ended up icing the puck. Um, then Nashville gets a power play, high stick on Konechny. It's a double minor. Well, the penalty kill wasn't great there. Um, they kind of just let the Predators set up. And uh, three three tip in the slot it was Johansson. Um, and they go down to the the remaining two minutes, and that was killed off. Third period, um, Forsberg scores early um, on a play between the legs. I didn't necessarily love the way the Flyers defended that. I felt like they gave up way too much room and close. Um, wasn't really much Hart could do there either. Really good shift by the Drew line. Close game, um, or excuse me, close to a goal there. Lots of jump from that line, really all game, um, and it, it's not surprising. Uh, Drew had a shot that ended up getting blocked, and you could tell he was pissed after that one. The Flyers look like they got a goal. Um, Broussard shot and it just trickled. Soros is sitting there. I see the puck. I'm like, I'm like, it's right there. It's right there. And it just rolls in. So it's a goal. It stands. Predators challenge it for a high stick from Atkinson when he waved it down. When they went to flip it out, Atkinson flicked it back with a high stick. No goal. Four on four. Um, so no goal. Still four three. And then four on four um, on uh, Faraby and Eckholm. And Hayes would score. Pass in front um, would just get deflected and uh, go right off of Hayes and go straight in. And 4-4 uh, four, four games. So the Flyers get the goal right back, and then Farabee just slam dunk in front of the net. Great pass by Hayes. Um, great find. I don't know what the Predators were doing, but slam dunk there, and the Flyers just sold out after. And then, uh, as you saw the video I posted um, before this, the lap around for G. And, um, you know, I, I thought Giroux had a great game. His first start of the game, I thought he played great. And... Um, if that's if that if that's his last one, you know, if uh, it, it's it's just so weird to think about, you know, everything that's that's kind of happened, um, and you know, G, G is it, it, like this is my childhood basically. Like if I'm putting it in perspective of myself, I know there's a lot of other people that are like that too. So um, you know, it is what it is, and um, I was just so glad the Flyers won. It was so relieving for them to, to win that game. And for it to not even go to overtime, too. Like, just end it in regulation, and you pick up the win, and they they, 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 they battled hard. They really did. And, uh, you know, it was a great atmosphere. It was great to meet some people. Um, it was awesome to see to see some people like that um, throughout the game and stuff. Um, and I, I, I met a lot of people tonight, so I was really happy about that as well. Um, seriously, you guys are the best. Um, you know, I seriously wouldn't be here without you guys. So, um, yeah, you know, it, it is what it is. You know, it, it's, it was a great run with G. And um, I know they didn't, they didn't get anywhere. They didn't, just, you know, they didn't, they didn't win. But, um, you know, it doesn't mean you, you, you have to – you can't take away what he's done. And um, he's he's done a lot of good things for the city, and you know I have a lot of childhood memories with uh, with him and uh, and Jake and Simmer and everybody, and um, it's uh, it's been a lot of fun over the years. So um, all right, that's it. I'm gonna uh, finish this all before I start getting emotional. Um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Um, 
remember Seek Geek character construction. Those links are down below. Same thing with the merchandise. And uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you all again soon.